Hey makers, this is Truveen and in this session I am going to talk about how you can get the screen size when you are opening your power apps. Most of the time what happen here is we are going to create responsive power apps but we wanted to know that in which mode or in which resolution my power apps is being opened, which property is going to use in order to get that information. As well as I wanted to know for tablet layout that if my app is opened into vertical mode or on horizontal mode, how can I get that information? So let's explore all of this information with me in this video. But before that, here is an intro. Here I am on my screen and here you can see that I have opened one Power Apps Canvas app. Now most of the time what happen here is when we are building the responsive canvas app, it's better to know the app's width and the screen size of the app and based on that we want to design our different components in the app. Then how can we get the size of the screen as well as the orientation of the app. Let's talk about everything in detail throughout this session. So first of all, let me talk about two important properties using which we are getting the size of the screen. But before that, let me show you few steps that you need to perform in order to get this exact size. So first of all, make sure that you go to the file menu and just open up the setting option. Now. Over here go to the screen and orientation and make sure that scale to fit option is turned off. This is the very first step that you need to take care. After that if you wanted to know the size of the screen you simply need to use the property screen dot size. So this is the property. Now this is something which is returning the value in the whole number. If your screen size is ranges between 0 to 600 it will return you 1 meaning small resolution. If the screen size is between 600 to 900 it will return 2 meaning medium resolution. If the screen size range is 900 to 1200 then it will return you 3 meaning large resolution and if the screen size is greater than 1200 it will return you 4 meaning extra large. So these are the different size breakpoint and based on that it will return you the screen size right. So 1 means 0 to 600, 2 means 600 to 900, 3 means 900 to 1200 and 4 means 1200 to infinity right. So you, uh, this is how you can get the screen size. Now sometime what happen here is if you are opening the app into mobile layout and if you just wanted to know what is the orientation of the app meaning user has opened the app in horizontal mode or vertical mode. Let's talk about that. So for that there is a property called orientation. So basically you just need to type screen name dot orientation. So it will return you the value either as horizontal or as vertical. Right. So at this moment we are in the horizontal mode so it is returning me horizontal but if I flip it will return me to the vertical as well. Right. So uh, we talked about both the property screen dot size and screen dot orientation. Now let's test this application and one more thing here I just added screens width and screens height so you will get the live coordination over here. So we will get an idea that the screen size is being changed. And over here as well I just added 4 different button control and just provided the button width at 600, 900, 1200 and 1300. So it is 1200 so let me just change the text ok. Right now what happen here is when we taste that we will get an idea that at this moment it will reach to 600, 900, 1200 and 1300. Right so based on that we can taste this particular screen size and orientation. Right. So now let me just save that and publish this app. Alright. So my app is open. At this moment the app's width is 1919 and height is 930. So of course the screen size would be 4 which is greater than 1200. Right. Now let's just decrease the browser's width and let's taste out the changes. So I'm just decreasing the width. You can see that the width is decreasing. 
now we are reaching up to 1200 so let's see what happens so now the width is 1031 so it is returning 3 because it is in between 900 to 1200 now let's see if we reduce the width and now we are reaching up to 815 so it is returning my screen size as 2 which is obviously 600 to 900 and let's decrease the size a little bit more and we reach to 506 so it, it is returning me the screen size as 1 and uh, obviously it is 0 to 600 so it will return me 1 right so this is how we can simply check the screen size over here right now let's check the orientation to check the orientation let me do one thing let me just refresh my window here and let me just select one of the mobile device from here so at this moment you can see that this is the mobile screen and the resolution is 411 so it is obviously showing me 411 over here and at this moment the screen orientation is obviously vertical now let's say I wanted to change the orientation so I'm just clicking on rotate from here so what happened here is mobile screen is turned to the horizontal right so it is showing me the screen orientation as horizontal at this moment and based on that this coordinate is also being changed right so this is how you can simply uh, make the different design for your horizontal and vertical layout as well by checking out this property using screen dot orientation so this is how you can simply check the screen size and orientation of your power apps right now let me talk to you about one more interesting concept of breakpoint over here so let's say for an example you want to define some design based on some different resolution like let's say for an example you wanted to consider medium size as 600 to 1200 or maybe 1000 then you can also change this breakpoint length as well right and you can add some more points as well here like if you wanted to have over here around 1600 then it will return you 5 for screen size when it reached to above 1600 right so you can also customize this screen size breakpoint as well so in out of the box manner it is providing three uh, size breakpoint which is 600 900 and 1200 but based on our custom requirement we can change that right now one more important thing this screen size breakpoint is somewhat which is different for the phone layout so let's say if you have prepared your application in the phone mode then if you go to the app section and check the breakpoint it is almost double than the tablet one so it has the breakpoint in 1200 1800 and 2400 meaning here uh, 0 to 1200 means one small size medium size large size and extra large right so these are the size breakpoint for the app type phone right so just make sure about this thing so hope now you get a clear idea about the app's screen size as well as the orientation of the app. If you have any question, add your question in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading new video related Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint and Teams every day on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy, click on this website link. It will redirecting you to this page. Go to the contact page and send me your query over here. If you are interested for following me on different social media handles, click on this link. It will redirecting you to this link tree URL. From here, you can follow me on all my different social media handles. If you wanted to learn different concepts on Instagram, here is the Instagram link. Click on that. Insta ID is Power Platform Guy. Here you can learn different power platform concept in form of post, reels and IGTV. So make sure that you follow me over there as well. If you are interested for different audio podcast, here is the podcast channel. Click on that. It will redirecting you my podcast homepage. Here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. 
This is Truvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.